All right, so episode six is in the books, the Pacific. Thank you. Shout out to that subscriber um, for actually leaving that comment on one of my recent videos. Um, I think it was Spartacus. I think it was Spartacus, the final episode of the prequel. Somebody left a message um, asking me if I'm still reacting to the Pacific. So I'm definitely grateful to that person. Let me see if I can find the name really quick. Um, yes, Linda Kanima. Linda Kanima. Um, shout out to you. You definitely reminded me to come back and react to this series because I really was forgetting it. And it's it's my fault. I take all the blame. You know, I take all the blame because I don't need to be forgetting shows. To be honest, I shouldn't be forgetting these shows. Um, but as I said before, the interest is one of the things that caused me to, to, to take such a long break. You know, in, in, you know, in my opinion, I, they weren't doing it for the first five episodes. It, it was more of like, we got a spurt here and then, you know, we saw them resting and doing all this stuff. Like, I don't want to see that part of it. that part of it is, is cool and okay. But it's, but this, we're talking about 10 episodes of a mini series, get to the meat of the matter. You get what I'm trying to say? Get to the meat of the matter like what we did in Band of Brothers. We saw them in training camp, episode one. Episode two, right back until the series the series ended, it was straight action. Straight every day was something new. They're moving towards a new objective. They're trying to get this done. They're trying to get that done. They're trying to show the most gruesome parts of what happened. Now, this episode six was the first time that I felt like they did that for the series. I'm not going to lie. There are questions from before where you guys have explained to me about the bonsai thing with the, um, with the Japanese and all of that stuff and all that stuff. It was nice to watch, but, and the sense of danger was there, but the continuance of it just was not there throughout those five episodes. There was no, um, I don't want to say there was no sense of urgency because the urgency, it was there, but it was kind of pushed to the background too much. We got to see a day in Lecky's life. I don't even know why that was a whole damn episode. You know, foresight, not foresight, hindsight is twenty twenty. Love the episode. Still think it's one of the best episodes. You would think I was watching some sort of romantic drama. It was great how they did that. I love the episodes. Still, even after watching episode six, I still believe episode two is my favorite episode because it was the the writing, everything that they did, it was like a mini movie within the mini series. So I loved it. I loved that episode because they actually introduced a new character. Let me fall in love with that character. Let me fall in love with this couple. And it was good to see that happen with Lecky, I don't know if that story was just super interesting to them and they say, let's pay homage to what Lecky did or I don't know what that was about, but I said hindsight is 2020. Now, now that I'm looking back, I'm looking at this that they did not have to show that, but they did. And that's why I was like, okay, this is probably not about the war, but it's more of like showing these characters in different, different segments of what they went through during the war. You get what I'm saying? Band of Brothers were, was more about the war more than anything else. It was about the war and us learning about these, these characters, these real people in real life, you know, telling their stories even before of how close knit they were as a unit for the Hereborn Division and the 101st. So it was like, it, 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 it was just great to see Band of Brothers. I know it's kind of unfair to compare the Pacific to Band of Brothers, but it is also fair to compare them because they were produced by the same people. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't like this is it and then this is it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same people that produced that show, the same people that executive produced this show. So... It's fair to compare them because it's the same people may not be the same writers, which I don't think it is, but 
same people produce it. They should have, you know what I'm saying? But let's see what they do for these final four episodes. And then I'll be able to have a better understanding, a better. But as I said, six episodes in, this is the best episode, I think, of the series so far. But my favorite is still episode two, where Lecky met the girl and stuff and all that stuff ensued. Because it was like a really good, wholesome story and nothing was left. No, no page was left unturned. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was left out of that that one hour, I don't think it was even an hour, but it was like I was watching like a regular TV show on TV and you had like an episode about a character that went through something and to see how it turned out, everything was complete, nothing was left behind and I love that. So for episode six, why well, I said it's the best episode is because I really feel like they brought the sense of danger to the forefront of the show now where you're seeing them trying to take this, this, they send them to the hill. They were thirsty, right? But they had to do it, you know, and to see so many of them go down was tragic and stuff like that. Um, so the, 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 the sense of danger was obviously there, the explosions, everything, um, and them coming together to take out, um, the Japs and, um, and take over that place and to be able to get some, some rest. They had to cross that airfield to get over there and the risk was enormous. So they had to do it. They did it. They lost a lot of men, of course. People are pissed, but hey, you're in the middle of war. If your commander says do, you got to do, and you got to move. So it's nothing against them. It's nothing against them. It's just orders or orders. In the army, you can't ask questions. You just got to do. So, um, so yeah, man, I'm loving the series. I love where, where it's going right now. I love this episode. Hopefully... The rest of the four episodes are like this and they don't take a whole episode, take a whole break. There's been about two or three episodes in the series where they're just sitting around. You get what I'm trying to say? You guys can't fault me for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there were like, I think it was like about two or three episodes where they were just sitting around just having conversation, talking about how dire we know war is a dire situation. I don't need to see that. Like, me, the, the, the audience, they know war is a dire situation. That's what we're here to see. We're here to see that for you to put it in front of us, not a, not for a sense of enjoyment, but as a sense of understanding what war is. You get what I'm saying? And we want to see these soldiers. We you, you need to honor them by portraying that stuff. Like me seeing them sitting around talking and, and laughing, that's supposed to be in past time during the episodes. Like every now and then you get that, i.e. Band of Brothers. See how they do that. It was brilliant how they did it. You get what I'm saying? It was never so concentrated on them just doing, just having small talk. You get what I'm saying? There was always a sense of danger no matter where they were. You know what I'm saying? So it was never like, yeah, they may be smiling sometimes, but there was always the sense of danger. I love that about Band of Brothers. It kept me at the edge of my seat. I was looking forward to the same thing in the Pacific. And this episode six was the first time that I felt like they forced that to the forefront and be like, no, let's turn this mother effer up and go balls deep. Okay. So I love that. But anyways, you guys can agree or disagree anyways. That's my review of episode six. I loved it. Love the episode. Think it's the best one they've done so far. And I think it really, really showed me what they could possibly do, what they could possibly do with this series going forward. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you came back and check out the review. As I said, you can agree or disagree. You can leave a dislike, a like the video. I'm asking kindly. And anyways, leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new. I'm planning to get back to the Pacific, of course, and 
deal out these four episodes. I'm going to try to 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 finish up this series by the end of this week. I hope I owe you guys this much. So what I'm going to do next time, I'm going to do two episodes. And then for the final two, I'm going to do those two together also. So that's a promise. So I'm going to try to get those done by the end of this week. Also, because as I said, I owe you guys that much that I've been forgetting to do this series. Anyways, thank you guys that. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.